Welcome to Quest Trade. In this video, we'll show you how to use the Symbol Lookup tool and Quote Overview. To get started, simply log in to your Quest Trade account. and go to the trading area. Once you're here, you'll see a search bar at the top of the page. Type in the name of a company you're interested in, and a list of relevant searches will appear. In this example, we'll search for Apple. Various companies with Apple in the name will appear, along with their stock prices on the right side. If you know the symbol of the stock or ETF you're interested in, you can also type that directly into the search bar. Stocks displayed are for illustrative purposes only. If you click on one of the symbols, it will pull up more information about the stock or ETF. This includes the ticker symbol, the company's full name, the exchange it's traded on, and its current stock price. It also shows the dollar amount and percentage that the price has either gained or lost over a certain amount of time. If this is a stock or ETF you want to keep your eye on, you can quickly add it to one of your watch lists by clicking the star button underneath the percentage. You will also see a button that allows you to buy shares of the stock. If you already own shares, you'll also see a button to sell them. Clicking buy opens the order entry screen on the right hand side. For more information on placing an order, you can view our market and limit orders video. The link is available in the description below. The price chart shown here is a line graph that provides a stock or ETF's historical pricing. Hovering over certain parts of the chart will show you how the stock performed on specific days or specific time if you're viewing a daily chart like shown here. You can adjust the timeline using the tabs below. Keep in mind that the graph defaults to a one-day overview. However, you can see price history from as recently as a day ago to as far back as when the security first started trading. Beneath the price chart, you'll get a breakdown of the stock or ETF's key statistics. Clicking Show More will reveal all of the provided information. On the left side are various price points the stock has reached. This includes its closing price from the last trading day, its opening price for the current trading day, along with the daily high and low from the current day. Also shown are the stock's highest and lowest prices over the last 52 weeks, as well as bid price, ask price, bid size, ask size, volume, and more. On the right side, you'll see other valuable information. If the stock pays dividends, you'll see the last dividend that was paid out, its dividend yield, and the current ex-dividend date. This is the date by which you would need to own shares to be eligible for the next scheduled dividend payout. Also available are key metrics such as the price to earnings ratio and earnings per share. Below that, if it's available, you'll see the last scheduled date for the company to release their earnings report. Lastly, you have the company's current market capitalization. You can use learning mode to learn more about what these mean. Further down, if you're viewing a stock or ETF you own shares in, you'll get additional information on your specific holdings of that particular security. You'll see the account that the shares are held in, the number of shares you own, and the average price you purchased them for. You'll also see your open profit and loss, referred to as open P&L. This represents the amount of money you've gained or lost from this position since it was first added to your portfolio. Also included are other details, like today's profit and loss, which shows any change that occurred during the trading day. You'll also see market value and book value. Simply put, market value is the number of shares you own multiplied by their current stock price. Market value shows what you'd receive in cash if you chose to sell your shares today, minus any trading commissions, that is. On the other hand, book value is the number of shares you own multiplied by the price you purchased them for. Then, there's account percentage, which shows the percentage that this stock or ETF's market value makes up in your account. 
Lastly, you'll find the news section, where you can see the most recent investment articles from various reputable sources. We hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Stock Symbol Lookup Tool. For more information about our trading platform, please head over to our educational videos on our YouTube channel.